What up, what up, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Meta 25 online rank match. And today, we have the San Francisco 49ers going up against the Seattle Seahawks. Welcome to everybody who's finally on vacation. You guys deserved it. Hopefully, you guys really spent time with your family. Relax and stay away from school, man. Don't let your parents tell you anything. Listen, I'm a parent myself. I'll be damned. If I tell myself during my son during Christmas vacation to read a book to to not even color. Listen, you're not even gonna hold a pencil. You go to school five days a week, ten months out of the year. This is your break. You stay up till you can't stay up no more. You have fun, enjoy it. And I'm just playing. If your parents tell you to read a book, you better read that damn book. Don't be like, whoops, GS said I ain't gotta do nothing. Now stop playing, stop playing. Y'all gonna get me in trouble. So um if anybody don't know, I've been a Niner fan since 92, and I love my Niners. Hate the Seahawks, <laughs> division rivals. Right here, don't test the user. He is so disrespectful. Somebody, please, give that gentleman a link to my channel. Let him know, do not throw the ball my way. That right there is an absolute beautiful way to go on ahead and start the possession defensively. Now, uh, obviously, I didn't notice before the game started. But uh, my opponent is in the top 100, and he is using an awesome team. So um, I'm in the top 100 as well, and it's a FMO, and he recovers. I'm thinking myself, you got to be kidding me. And, uh, you know, we, we got the, the wonderful task of being able to play sim style, which is punting or kicking field goals on fourth court, on uh, fourth down. So uh, I'm figuring I'm going to have to do that a couple times this game because Seahawks defense is nasty. It's very tough. So. Uh, right here, he drops back, and thankfully, he uh, drops the pass due to contact. Third and 11, he ends up finding a nice corner route over there towards the right side to Harvin. Picks up the first down. So, uh, one thing that the Seahawks do so well is, well, what you're watching right now. Run the ball extremely well, and if Marshawn gets going in this game, it's going to be a long, rough game for you. You cannot allow him to become the beast that he is. You got to cage him up and try your best to take that weapon away and i feel like uh the 49ers have the components to do so with the tremendous linebackers we got fourth and one look at this weenie going for it. look at this weenie getting a touch and a good call by him uh tossed to the outside picks it up definitely a good call by him i was thinking maybe it was gonna be a pass i wasn't really expecting to run considering i stopped the run the previous down and uh, did not think he was going to run the ball. So he did. So good call by him. Whoop! Look at his hitting us with the back juke. Cheese on the kickoff, though. He could go all the way. And he ends up running into the end zone. And uh, that thing has become popular since I've shown it <coughs> in a video. Since Crudes did it to me. And uh, I picked it up from him. I always, always, always pay attention. When you're going up against somebody, you just may learn something new. And I learned that. And, uh... People been hitting me up on Twitter, like, yo, GS, I'm running, like, one kick back off, one kick off return. I'm running it back, like, once a game now. I've ran back, like, five since you've done the video. But yeah, man, it, it, it works. You know what I mean? Definitely want to be able to learn from your opponents. Right here, does a very good job of throwing over there towards the left. Uh, he had a wide receiver screen on the right, which, obviously, I ran towards right here. He tried to call another screen, but we had a heavy blitz set up. And we get to him before he could get it off. So, second and 18 right here. He calls the play action, and we call the blitz, and we get to him from Whitner. So, third and forever right here. He's standing in the pocket. He goes over the middle, and another interception. That's a zippies. Uh, give it to me, baby. No of you. Right there was a beautiful play by Whitner. Whitner's coming through making plays right here. We try the read option, and that right there gets shut down. So, second and 11. We go back to the run, and we end up getting stopped. This right here is crucial. We really want this first down. Third and 12, we drop back, and we end up going to a nice out route, and we end up picking up the first down. When in doubt, throw the outs. Right here, the off tack. Oh, my God, look at that pancake, though. Damn. Somebody just just sprinkle some syrup on him. He's a flapjack. He's been flapjacked. We try to run up the middle. We take a hard hit, but we do get good yardage, and we end up going whoop, whoop, to the jet sweep. Look at Manny and breaking tackles because he's so strong, though. 30 seconds remaining, we go <coughs> Excuse me, back to the read option. If anybody's wondering, yes, I'm still sick as a dog. We go to um, Franklin Gore right here. We'll get stopped on the one-yard line. And from here, after he calls the timeout, we just end up sneaking it in, giving us our first lead of the game, going up 14-7. to seven. So that right there is big. You know, a couple seconds remaining before half. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know before deep. I mean, before uh, halftime, GS defense is that of equivalency of a trash bag. It's it's ass. It's ass. Hopefully, we can go in there and make a stop. He tried a five wide out uh, receiver screen that goes nowhere. Then he tries the HB screen. And look at this. Look, I call the timeout because yeah, I just may get a punt return back. You never know. Look at the bait. We went in for the blitz. And now we step back. I'm like, Arr! and look at Patrick Willis coming to with the interception. So that timeout actually came in handy. Allows us to go on ahead, kick a field goal, and go up a multiple possession lead, though. And we received ball at halftime. So that right there is big. We have an opportunity to go up either 20 to 7, 24 to 7, whatever the case may be. Hopefully, we can just add on to our lead and be able to make it tough for him to come back. But more importantly, you know, since we're up two possessions, we're hoping that we can take Marshawn out of his game plan. If we can do that, we've already succeeded on defense a ton. Right there, quick little comeback route. You know, I don't always do the out routes. I don't always do the out routes. 99.9% .9 I do the out route, but every once in a while, I hit him. You know, a little comeback, a little, little comeback. Just to switch it up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Not too much. Not too much, but I switch up a little bit. So in second and 22, I try to run the ball, hopefully get a good gain, make a manageable first down situation, which we did. We gained 12 yards on that right here. We roll out with Kaepernick. I'm trying to extend the play, I'm trying to see if I can find anybody open. And unfortunately, I run right into a sack. So we're forced to go on ahead and punt the ball 17 to 7 right here. And now it's like, okay, he has an opportunity to, uh, you know, make the game closer. No matter what he does, I still retain the lead. So uh, right here, he goes for a play action and we get to him. And he just, I don't even know how he got that passed off. But nonetheless, it's a three-yard loss, which is good for us. Second and 13, he's got a couple people crossing over the middle. And he ends up finding one. And he ends up finding a golden take, picking up the first down. Right here, he goes towards the right side. Oh, man. Oh, man, he juked the hell out of me. <laughs> Second and one right here. Uh, he goes 405. Same play that's just doing work. Calls a five-out wide receiver screen. But then he, right here, same play. But this time, we made an adjustment. We put a purple route over there since he came out in the same formation. Right here, he attempts to run the ball, and we end up getting a great stop right there by Whitner. Let's see if we can go on ahead and hold him to a field goal right here. He drops back. The pressure's getting to him, and look at the beautiful play by Brock to be able to cut off that pass. And he could go Oh, the way. We skip run into the end. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no. Oh, come on. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. How are you going to do that, man? What happened to the internet connection? Really? The internet connection just just lost out of nowhere that sucks man i know you was mad because i know you was thinking you're about to come back and then out of nowhere you lost connection to your internet so right here since i gained 10 points i'm like damn he must be pretty high he's got to be somewhere in the top 100 since i gained 10 points so i'm searching and uh man, this game must have been a while ago because <laughs> i got a lot more wins than 40 uh 48 49 now so i'm looking for him i'm like damn, okay maybe he's not in the top 100 and i do end up finding him <clears throat> so right now, after the loss, he's ranked 83 in the top 100. So you figure after him losing 10 points, he probably was somewhere in the 60s, uh, somewhere around there. So, uh, you know, we played a good opponent, you know, good record, very similar to mine. And we end up coming through very good defensively, uh, you know, forcing bad passes, coming through with interceptions, and being able to capitalize on those mistakes. So that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, <clears throat> it's your boy GS, sick as hell. <laughs> Hoping I get better, man. I really am. I don't know what's up with this sickness, man. It's been with me for like a week. But hope you guys enjoy your vacation, man. And we are out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.